And when the song comes on, everybody gon' rush the floor We do it big like Matt Life <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to another Clone Wars Adventures emulator video. So today we are going to be viewing the houses. All the houses actually. So we'll start off to the left and we'll go on to Ordo Plutonia. And it looks like they got the loading screens all good. Got them met. They I love Savage Oppressed Darth Maul and Asajj Ventress. There should be a model in like a Battlefront 2 mod or something like that. My goodness. Yeah, so as you can as you can see here, this is what the Ordo Plutonia lot looked like back when Clone Wars Adventures was around, which is always pretty cool. You could actually, in every single house housing lot, you were able to get out of the map or out of the lot, so you can s explore. I actually had videos on that in my, my really old channel. So yeah, you get the point of this lot. It looks looks pretty cool. Now let's go to the Umbara one, and there's two of them. There's the Umbara and Sith Academy one. The regular Umbara one's actually pretty cool looking too. It's basically the same thing it looks like in Clone Wars Adventures. Oh, here's the other load screen, I forgot to mention that. Count Dooku, General oh my Grievous. Goodness. You see, now this one looks a lot cooler. Now if this was a Battlefront 2 mod map, that'd be really cool. I gotta say, the visuals are very, very nice. Yes, they're not all the way up for me because my computer is older than most 5th graders are, but... Still, overall, it's, it looks really nice, this map. I don't know why, I, I really I really do like the contrast on that one. Alright, let's, let's go to the Sith Academy now. Oh, look, it's Cad Bane, Aura Singh, and Bosk. I hope I got the names right. Because I'm pretty bad with names, I'm not gonna lie. My names, goodness. not so good. Yep. Okay, yep, th this is laggy for me. But I think you really get the point here. It still looks really nice. So sorry for the lag on this part. So as you, it still looks like a really nice lot overall. Hold on, man. Let me get on the mount real quick. Doesn't really matter which mount you use. Oh, whoops. Well. It's, so I think you get the point of this lot. It's, it's pretty interesting overall. Like, you can even go into the lava and not die, which is pretty funny. You could glitch out of this lot as well, which is pretty cool. And as I, as I said, apologize for that. Now let's go to... How do you say that? It's, I want to say it's Sarlacc. Oh look, Plo Koon, uh, Kit Fisto, and... Is it Eeth I believe? I'm terrible with names. And check out... Uh, Carlax or like however you want to say it. Overall, it looks really nice. It remember, it's still the exact same way as it was in Clone Wars Adventures. If there is something new, it's probably better looking textures. And as you can see, it looks, it still looks really nice here. And it, you got your own walls. You can glitch out of this as well. You can do some fun things here. And once again, it looks really nice. It looks very nice. You've seen Kristoff's in my previous video, so we're not going to bother with that. Alright, so Geonosis it is, boys. Oh, and girls. In case I have girls watching this video, which I highly doubt, but it's always possible. Because females love video games, too. Yep, Geonosis looks basically the same, except looks a bit darker. But that's probably because, once again, my... My graphics are basically the fast. And remember, my, my computer's old. So, it's, it's not as good as you remember it. And you move so much faster on these mounts, it's, it's pretty damn cool, if, if I may say so myself. Alright, so you know what Kryptophis looks like. Let's go to Tatooine. Tatooine was a really big lot, if I remember right. I mean, it was bigger than almost all the other ones. If I remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Tatooine was really big. There was even a little cave over here. Yep, there, see? I remember right. There was a cave over here. Looks really uh, interesting, actually. I mean, there wasn't was really too much of the cave. There was, a, there was a few little areas to the cave that were pretty neat. There's, I think there's like a little side cave somewhere. Yeah, like right over here, I think. Looks still looks pretty neat though. I gotta say, looks pretty nice. There's also a, dr uh, uh, yeah, here it is, a little side area. So you can make that into like a little dueling area if you wanted to. You got a lot of furniture too, if I remembered right. So it was really cool seeing that. So you got you got dinosaur remains, even though. Oh yeah, and you also have the little Tuscan Raiders. Which are also pretty cool. This all is going to be one video. 
Oh yeah, so let's go to Ryloth next. See, there was Ryloth, Ryloth Deluxe, and Ryloth. I think Ryloth Canyon's new. I knew there was the Deluxe Ryloth and regular Ryloth, which were pretty neat. Yeah, like I said, Tatooine was probably the second biggest or the biggest lot there was. Yep, and here's beautiful Ryloth, ladies, gentlemen, and anybody who identifies as somewhere in between. So, as you can see, it looks really nice, you gotta say. The devs are doing really well with this so far, and... Ooh, yeah, the Grievous Speeder. Check me out, I'm General Grievous, even though I'm not made out of metal. I don't know, what else is there? Oh yeah, the like I said, the Ryloth Deluxe lot was really cool. I specifically remember buying it, like, they had station cash and everything, which was also pretty cool. I Once they do actually make this up-to-date playable and you can, like, level up and everything, I'd be, I'll, I'd be happy making a series on this. Be a new series, and that my computer can actually run. See, look how big this Ryloth lot is. Or the Ryloth Deluxe lot. There was so many interesting places you can go on here. Once again, you can glitch out of the map, which is also very cool. Here, I want to see—I want to see the other mounts where you can actually like. Oh, wasn't there another one? Yeah, Mandal Grievous Peter. I—I I guess they haven't added it in yet. Eh, that's okay. That's all right. Can't do much about that. So overall, it looks—it does look very, very nice. Once again, I think the sky is a little bit newer though. All right. Yeah, that—that's neat. Uh, let's see. Yeah, th you have some buildings here. You could use some furniture to get out of the map. What else? I... Yeah, there was Ryloth. Yeah, Christophus, you saw. Camino. Huh. There was a Camino lot, wasn't there? I don't think there was. Yeah, wait, yeah, there was. It was like... Yeah, there was a Camino lot. It was you just surrounded by a bunch of water, if I remember right. Oh, yep. Look at beautiful Camino, boys and girls. Yes, I lagged terribly on it, because, once again, my computer is old. And I probably have about 15 frames. Or no, actually, not even 15. I probably have like 10 frames. Hey, look at look at those uh, birds. I must say, I, I do really like this. I don't think you can get out of the map here. Oh, you actually could in the old game. So you you see, it's not really much to look at. It's it's still pretty nice. You get some very nice uh, what you would call it, views. All right, let's go to the actual lot of Iceberg 3. This one was probably one of my favorites, because when you glitched out of the map, there were so many places you can check out. I'm not even sure if they did that on purpose, but if they did... Well, first off, the, this was not uh, the color it is. These were... It was an entirely white map. I'm not sure if that's racist or not, but I guess you could say it is. Let's see. Uh, it's, it looks pretty cool, though, I gotta say. Yes, I know it's not completed. It, I don't think it is. But it still looks really nice. Sky looks really nice. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Felucia. Yeah, there was a the Felucia starter lot, which was basically a small square area. But you could have a lot of fun when you glitched out of the map. Or just push yourself out of the map as I did back when I was like 14, 13. Uh, those were the good years, my friends. Those were the good years. Yeah, see? Very small starter lot. And there, see, there was a... Uh, a little party area over here where you can glitch out of, which was really cool. I can't believe I still remember that, right? Let's see, um... Yeah, and you see that you have a little soundtrack, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the other Felucia. Yeah, this one was basically the same one like the Umbara lot, if I remember right. Oh, okay, it's not available. It was basically just like the Umbara lot. You didn't miss too much of it. Alright, let's go to the Dathomir lot. I think Dathomir one, I think this one was actually a newer one, if I remember right. But I could be wrong, I'm pretty sure there were other ones. Oh yeah, this Dathomir one, yeah, this is, this was one I had. Now that's a beautiful sky, I must say. I love that sky. I'm not even being sarcastic, I actually really like the sky. Now that is something I'd wear on a shirt. I must say, they did a good job with that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, then you have the actual Dathomir, like, Academy, which is very interesting, which I actually really liked. I think there's one more after this, right? No, there were two or three more. Corazon. Corazon had, like, two or three. Yeah, like, you, you when you first started off in the, this game, you had the Palawan Dorm, which was basically, like, what your sleeping quarters or whatever. 
But then they started adding a lot more lots, which were actually my favorite part of the the lots of the game. Yeah, and there was also you also had a trophy room, but I'm not sure if they have the trophy room on here. And there's your outside of Corazant. Looks pretty neat, right? Not really too much to see in this one. I also like the attackers, but we're saving that one for last. The uh, Jedi apartments were was actually pretty cool. You actually got like five different rooms, but once again, you had to buy the rooms with station cash, which was real money. But when you're a kid, you really don't care about those things. Like, this is where your trophy room is, I believe. Yep, see? Oh, uh, whoops, nope, that was your... What you may call it? That was your, uh, droid destroyer room, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see, like, this is this was your little droid destroyer room. I can't remember what the name was, but that's definitely what it was. Oh, yeah, what else was there? There was something over... over here. Over here on the carpet. If you actually, like, clicked on the carpet or whatever, you were able to... Go down to like your where you kept all your uh, weapons, but you can't really do that, so that sucks. But oh yeah, then you had like your deck out here, so you had a pretty you had a pretty interesting deck you could go here. If you like clicked a button over here, I believe, or you clicked on this, it was like a DJ droid, which was pretty neat. I just wish I didn't start all the way at the beginning, but that's all right. And once again, you get the same old view of Corazon, so n nothing too interesting there. And I believe this was like where you, where all your f starfighters were. Yep, see, then you had all your starfighters here. Which were really cool. I'm not sure if they're all here, but I'm pretty sure a majority of them are. And then this is where you can really see the actual view of Corazon itself. Which is really nice, I gotta say. Looks very nice. I gotta say, it was probably one of my favorites too. Now let's go to the attack cruiser. The attack cruiser was really uh, unique in the way that you were able to have a spaceship as a, as a house. And once again, there was a bunch of other cool things you can do with this. You can like glitch, you can glitch down here actually. You were able to just glitch down here at a point. As you can see, you are able to like fall down here, which was really neat. Sad thing is, like, now I can't get out, I don't think. Uh, hold on. Get off the mount. My goodness! Oh, yeah, you can, you can get out. I'm just not a very good jumper. Yep, see? You can get out of there, you can run around. Okay. So I fell back in because I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible uh, jumper of sorts. There was a lot to this area, actually. Like, you could go down... You were able to actually go down to two separate areas, which was pretty cool. And you were able to, uh... In over six million forms of communication. Well, you were able to click these things, which were uh, pretty neat. I just wish I could go down to the rooms, but they haven't gotten those yet. But that's alright. So I think overall, that, that concludes this, uh... Basically, a lot of exploration. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.